Trench. Ten in line. Here they come. And away they go. They're off in pacing, chasing Goosebumps. Show speed from the extreme outside. There's Friar Voltaire showing speed from the six hole. Sunny Beach Boy put into play. Now driving out Ratchford with Micron. Away in fifth, Baylor Bobby. To the inside is Happy Nays. Parkdale looking for a spot. Manhawk. Then it's back to YS Better's Legacy. Drury with Treasure in the Sand is next to last early trailer. Max Patrick from post 10 chasing goosebumps has found the lead through a 27 and one opening quarter, but it looks like he's about to be a two hole passenger with Micron and Ratchford at 77 to one ranging up to take over the lead. So at three eights, Micron takes over chasing goosebumps in second, two more lengths to sunny beach boy. Third on the outside parked is Baylor Bobby. He's fourth inside Friar Voltaire second over man Hawk. Then it is happy nays to the inside. Why has been legacy. Max Patrick starts up. Trailers now. Treasure in the sand. Half was reached in 55 and 4. And as they head to the 5 8 pole, it's Micron leading it a length over chasing Goosebumps. Baylor Bobby continues to chip away. He's up to third, about two and a half off the lead. Inside locked up, Sunny Beach Boy. Second over, towed to a nice trip is Manhawk. Third over, Happy Nays. Being shuffled is Friar Voltaire. Then Max Patrick locked up by his better's legacy. Starting up last, Treasure in the sand. They hit three quarters. Inside Micron poking ahead in front outside Baylor Bobby Manhawk three wide now 124 and four here comes Manhawk wide on the outside Baylor Bobby trying to fend him off looking for someone live from the backfield Max Patrick starts to show some late speed but it is Manhawk taking over the lead and beginning to draw clear Manhawk at two to one takes over he's got a three length jump and Manhawk will give McClure the Thursday Grand Slam it is Manhawk to score over Baylor Bobby holding on to third there was Max Patrick tight for the other positions 153 and 2 Manhawk Baylor Bobby trying to fend him off. Looking for someone live from the backfield. Max Patrick starts to show some late speed, but it is Manhawk taking over the lead and beginning to draw clear. Manhawk at 2-1 to one, takes over. He's got a three-length jump, and Manhawk will give McClure the Thursday Grand Slam. It is Manhawk to score over Baylor Bobby. Holding on to third there was Max Patrick. Tight for the other positions. 153-2, and two, Manhawk. And returning in front of us, 10th race winner, number nine, Manhawk. A three-year-old bay colt by Stag Party out of the Sun Beach Somewhere Dam. Bring a ring. 215-6604, Alberta Incorporated and Alan Guthrie share ownership. Gary Murner, the winning trainer, and Bob McClure with the driving Grand Slam.